to all of you. We're very happy to be with you. And um, Kelsey, thanks for setting up the way you know I think is most ideal. So Lutopian is the exercise that I want to introduce to you. It's done at Kahala Mall three times a week, Friday, Saturday, and Monday. And I know at least two familiar faces, Gail and um, um, huh? and something Pereira. Uh, yeah, she, she they, they come out and do exercises. So maybe uh, I'll use them today to maybe stand in the front. So Lutokin is a low impact Chinese exercise that was introduced from Hong Kong. It's been in the island for about 20 years. It is very different from Tai Chi, which I also teach here, because it is a repetitive um, exercise, 36 different movements done about 10 times. So when we do the exercise, I want to stress that um, don't push yourself, because it is a new exercise, you're going to be using different muscles, and I want to keep everybody very safe. So you're to stand near your chair so that if you have problems with balancing, you can grip onto something very fast. Okay? You don't have to do them all. Do pick and choose just to get familiar with what this exercise is all about. Okay? So what are we stressing when we do these exercises? We're stressing circulation, better breathing, better use of our lungs and how we intake our oxygen and exhale. So that's one big area. We're also trying to better our balance so that we are not unsteady on our feet and we hopefully will prevent unnecessary falling. Okay? The other thing that we're doing is building our stamina, strengthening our muscles so that when it requires us to hold something for a little longer, that muscle has been used and will help us. Okay? So I'm going to teach you the 36 movements. Hands open door. Okay, I'm going to turn this way and we're holding our hand in front of us. Our fingers are wide spread. Hands to the back. Serum. Bop ta lick. Bop ta lick. Bop ta lick. Turn your hands around. Grit your teeth three times. Push out. Yut. Ni. Sam. Hands back and forth for ten. Yut. Ni. Sam. Se. Hmm. Look, chat, bat, gao, sa. Actually, I'm going to turn this way, okay? Going down for ten. Yat, ni, sam, se, hum, look. Shut, bat, down, sup. Right foot forward, right foot forward, and your hands clasp nearer to your right foot, going down for five. Yut, me, sam, say, one more. Hmm. This time, left foot forward, going down for five. Yat, ni, sam, se, one more. Mm. Hands back and forth for ten. Yat, ni, sam, se. Mm. Look, chat. <laughs> but go suck circle and stretch looks very good 
So this one is number three, cross hand. The right hand crosses behind your left hand. Okay? This is how it's done. You can do it with me. Pull back, yut, circle. Ni, circle. Sam, se, hum. The left hand is behind the right hand. And we're doing it a little bit differently. Pulling back. Yat, drop forward circle. Knee, drop forward circle. Sam, say, hmm. Look, number four, you're doing very well. Yat, ji, so. Arms extended, fingers wide spread. Look to your left middle finger as you bend down without bending your knuckle. Yat, ni, sam, se, hum, look, chat, pat, gao, sa. Number five, wrist movement exercise. Von Gerald, arms extended. This time we're going to rotate our wrist going forward. Okay? Yat, ni, sam, se. Mm, so now your palms are up. You're going to do the reverse. Yat, ni, sam, se, hmm. Some of you are laughing, and it is funny because we've never done these kinds of exercises before. Okay, so it's good. Number six is beauty looking in the mirror. Each of you have some beauty about you. So you're going to hold your mirror so that you can see how pretty you look. Your left hand is your mirror. Your right hand, we don't need it. We put it in the small of our back, okay? <laughs> you're gonna place that hand behind your mirror. You're gonna brush up, and you're gonna turn to look at your mirror on the other side. Then you're gonna take the hand that's in the back, put it to the side of your your mirrored hand, brush again, and spin back to the original position. Here we go. Yat, ni, sam, se, gao, sa. So that one maybe you might want to take it home for some home, right? It's a little difficult, but it's fun. All right. This one, number seven, is riding the bicycle backwards. At this age, we don't even ride the bicycle forward, but we're going to learn it to ride it backwards. So this time, those of you who are standing, you need to go to the side of your chair in case you need to hold it. So go to the side of your chair and not to the front of the chair so that you can hold on to your chair, okay? That's safer, okay? Nobody should be in the front. And this exercise requires you to balance. So if you can't do it and you feel it's hard, don't be afraid of sitting down or just watching. Watch me first, okay? I'm gonna balance first and Gail and um, Tyco, if you wanna do it, that's fine. I know you can do it. Left, this time we're gonna balance first on our left foot. So we're gonna take the weight off of our right foot. And we said that we were gonna bicycle backwards. So when we bicycle backwards, we kick up the sand and we ride our bicycle like this. Okay? This is four, five, six, seven. Now we're gonna bicycle forward. Yat, ni, sam, se. Hmm. So, very good. Now we're going to reverse. We're going to stand on our right foot. We're going to kick up the sand with our left foot. So all the weight is on your right foot. And set your waist for better balance. Yat, ni, sa, mo, sa. Now we have a forward. Yat, ni, sa, se. Very good. Okay, number eight. Leg open door. 
starting out in the same way. This time we're going to draw circles with our foot. Standing on our left foot, using our right foot to make our circles like this. Okay. Two. Sa. Se. Backwards now. Yat. Ni. Sa. Se. Hmm. Look. I started with 
but you're reaching at a, the other side of your body. Knee. And then when you hear the word chuckle, it means use some force or use some power. But at this stage, when you're learning something new, you don't have to worry about that. But because the cadence, the calling out, is done in Chinese, a lot of people, including myself, when I first started, I didn't know what it meant. Okay? I thought it was some kind of a song or you know, rhythm type thing. But in everything that we do, especially this exercise, it's important for the energy to run to the tip of our finger. In order for, to, for, in order for the energy to get there, we're going to have to do some things about um, how we position ourselves. So one of the very easiest things is that I can keep my fingers spread out like this, or I can keep it out like this. But to get the most out of this exercise, you have to spread it out so that it's very stiff. When you do that, it's an exercise right in within the fingers here, but it's allowing the energy to go all the way to the top. And okay, that's something that you can learn for that. So 22, and okay, you or anybody else, is called half jacks. So normally, jumping jacks are done with our hands above our head, but this time we're choosing to go out halfway and we do it for 10 times. And I think on a line, all they do is like this. You get the stretch and you get the rhythm, but you say for those of you who are not using jumping. So 23. Then 24 are doing our squats. So every time we go down, we take a deep breath in. Then we do a lot by counting. Me. Some. Say. It's breathing exercise. So when we talk about breathing, we're talking about two different kinds of breathing. Either the shallow breathing that we normally do every day, or the deeper breathing.
snap our fingers, trying to stimulate a nerve at the back of our head. So we're going to cover our ears tightly. We're going to white snap first. Yat, ni, sam, other side. Yat, ni, sam, se, 31, massaging of the ribs. Okay, so your ribs are on both sides of your body. You're going to massage them. So no one else is going to do it for you. So you're going to do it by yourself, okay? So we're going to open up our stance. Be careful. You're going to lean to the right. You're going to put your left hand above your head with the palms up. Then you're going to reach under your underarm. Yut, me, some, say, hmm, look, chut, but, go, suck. Reverse that, ex that um, routine. Yut, me, some, everybody at Kahala Mall, even up in Hawaii Kai where we're at tomorrow morning, they all look forward to number, thir to number 32, which is jogging. So we worked hard, we're on number 32, we end at 36, and we're supposed to be jogging in place. But guess what? All our students modify this, and all they want to do is jog their mouth. <laughs> so they run up to their favorite pals and they <laughs> but we don't care because that's what that's what exercising is all about. It's being in a safe environment among people that you know or learn to know or make friends, new friends, and that they look forward to this. So we jog actually for three minutes, but I'm just giving you a little flavor of what it's all about. Okay. Um, there are times when we had our Christmas um, the token at Kahala Mall, and you know how they, they decorate the mall with the poinsettias, all in, in a, a fashion into a Christmas tree in the center stage. We, um, some people went all out and wore their Christmas bells and stuff, so we dropped around the, uh, the mall that way. That's, this is number 32. And then 33, 34, 35, 36, the rest of the exercises, we do it together. In other words, as soon as the, the teacher or the instructor calls up, then we're doing it all together, okay? So we're actually wrapping this up now, okay? So number 33 is two dragons spinning pearls, okay? So the Chinese have a way of using dragons, um, um, golden roosters, and using um, animals to describe their exercise. Okay. Two dragons spit pearls. Answer that. Serum. Hey. What me some say? You look at like solid. Yeah. Placing on your shoulders or knee. Push 
Russia, some suck about the place among your thighs, circle to the right like you're sitting and standing. You get yet, me, some, say, mm, look, chat, bot, go, suck, reverse to the left, yet, me, some, 